Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm making an elegant Easter wreath. Before we get started, I wanted to show you a few different items I use to make my wreath forms white. Number one, I do love using the Grow Grain Ribbon. I've used this in a few wreaths already on my channel. Then what you can do is you can use a piece of white fabric, just cut it into strips, wrap it around, and hot glue it in place. And option three that I'm going to be using today is I'm going to be using Dollar Tree Felt. And I'm going to be uh, just cutting into about maybe about an inch kind of strips. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to be wrapping it around the wreath form and hot gluing it in place like this. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and cut some strips. I got my little strips and now I'm just going to start hot gluing them onto my wreath form. I'm really hoping that Dollar Store eventually gets some white ones. Okay, now that my base is ready, I'm going to bring in this boa. And this boa was from Halloween from the Dollar Tree, and it is 42 inches long. And what I'm going to do is this boa is going to be kind of like our base for the wreath. And I'm just going to start hot gluing it right on top. Obviously, be very, very careful. Okay, I cut off the excess. At this point, don't worry about hot gluing it completely in place because we are going to be putting things around it. You can always add more glue at the end, but I wanted to make sure that I had a base to start working with. When that's done, I'm going to bring in my favorite spring florals. And these are the ones from the Dollar Tree this year. This little part right here on the lilacs is a little bit different. Last year, it was actually a little bit more elegant. It was like this, but this year it's a little, I don't know, but you could see it a little better at least. But anyway, so I'm going to be using the greenery from these little uh, greenery bushels, but I'm going to be using the ones I had from last year. So I have them right here and I'm just going to be playing it by ear. Okay, so here is step one, just a little bit of greenery. Next, I'm going to be working maybe this type of greenery. Oh, this is going to look good. The next step here is to figure out what types of Easter eggs I want to use. I have glittery ones, I have matte ones, and these are really, really pretty. And then I have ones that have little brown specks on them. I got a lot of these eggs actually in um, Michael's when they had the mystery boxes. I'll just insert the video right here so you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I have a ton of eggs and so now I just want to kind of see what I want to use. In the end, I decided to go for these pastel color ones and I'm just going to start gluing them here and there. Now I'm going to continue and fill in in between the eggs um, 
as much greenery as I feel it needs to make sure it looks nice and full. For the finishing touch, I grabbed these vase fillers from Valentine's and I'm just grabbing the white little foam balls and I grabbed different sizes, bigger, smaller, and just started hot gluing these everywhere. The nice thing about these is they are very, very lightweight and you can put them on greenery and it'll just stick there without any problems and without weighing the greenery down, which is really nice. So these vase fillers are actually one of my kind of secret weapons that I use a lot in wreaths because they just make an impact and they are very, very easy to work with. And I think I'm going to stop right there with this wreath. And you can make this from Dollar Tree items. The only items that weren't Dollar Tree were these eggs. I got these at Michael's. But Dollar Tree has such a variation of Easter eggs right now. I'm sure you will find something to uh, substitute these eggs with. For those who don't know, this is my sweet, sweet puppy, Louie. Oh my goodness. Was that a little yawn? <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this wreath. This wreath was requested by Lexi. And Lexi wanted me to make an Easter wreath that was elegant. I hope that uh, Lexi likes it and I hope you like it. And if you have any suggestions for me to make a wreath, definitely let me know in the comments down below and I will do my best and it also gives me ideas sometimes you know if you ask something complicated it's a challenge and I absolutely love that one little thing if you're not subscribed to my channel and love Dollar Tree DIYs reads hauls and more please consider subscribing hitting that bell button and of course, don't forget to give me a thumbs up because that does help my channel. With that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Bye, my sweet friends. Mwah.